Good morning, Paul. It's Wednesday, the 1st of March. Here's the heads up brief for today. For the Southeast Asia production, we covered 19 issues. In North Asia, we covered seven. And for the Australasia and Pacific Islands, we covered 10. In South Asia, we covered 19 issues, plus the major issues in the Europe, Middle East, and Africa regions. Okay, thanks. Go ahead, Uda. So in uh, Wamena, in Papua, in the highlands of Indonesia, thousands of people protested uh, yesterday against the lethal force used by security forces in uh, on Mar on February 23rd, when they killed 12 civilians and 18 people were injured. Hundreds of Indonesian migrants have also fled their homes from Wamena and are staying at the police station over concerns of uh, violence between the Papuan communities and them. Okay, thanks, Ruda. In Thailand, four people were arrested and assets worth nearly uh, 2.83 million U.S. dollars were confiscated by the police during raids in the north and central regions. Um, they belong to three major drug networks spread across Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, Tak, Salaburi, and the Ayutthaya provinces. Okay, well, that's big news. Um, any more news comes out on that, just keep me in the loop, will you? That's... Uh massive bust we'd be really keen to see what connections these networks turn out to have and whether there's indeed any linkages to um you know rogues within the police thank you triple in timor-leste uh three parties in the ruling coalition the freightland the conto and the people's liberation party said they will work together for the May 21st elections and that they will uh, seek to form the next government together. However, they have not. They have said that they will not enter an alliance before the elections and they will contest independently. Okay, that's excellent that they're being so transparent and also letting everyone know their positions so far in advance. And it's good to note here that despite massive fears, one, that Timor-Leste will and CUN pulled out with its massive presence would fold economically. That didn't occur. And all the doomsayers were predicting election violence. Well, they've had several elections now. and Generally, they've been extremely smooth and each one's got a little bit of quieter, except perhaps the last one we saw a little bit of a spike. Okay, back to you. Thank you. Thanks, Paul. In South Asia, uh, violence occurred at protests in Islamabad and Karachi in Pakistan. Uh, this is over tensions between Imran Khan and the government. Uh, Imran Khan was given a non-bailable offense yesterday, and um, there are indications that he could be arrested soon. Okay, and would they be likely to deny bail if they arrest him? On one of the charges, uh, they can deny bail. On three of the charges, those are bailable offenses. Okay, thanks. Right. In Nepal, the presidential elections will be held on the 9th of March. Now, this comes off. Uh, this comes ahead of three parties who have quit the ruling coalition. So it'll be a key test for the coalition to see who they can install as president. OK, thank you. Uh, Sri Lanka has said that it will finalize an agreement with the International Monetary Fund this month. OK, thank you. In the Europe, Middle East, and Africa region, in Moldova, pro-Russian separatists have announced the start of military exercises for three months. Now, this is in a region that's controlled uh, by them. It's a breakaway region. And uh, authorities in the breakaway region are concerned that Ukraine will attack pro-Russian forces in the area. Okay, thanks. Thanks a lot. And in Nigeria, a candidate from the All Progressives Congress party has been declared as the president-elect. Now... This comes amidst the widespread rigging and irregularities in the elections, uh, so protests are likely to break out, some in support of the president-elect and many against his election. Okay, great. I'd like to be just updated as, as violence breaks out, okay? Sure, Paul, and we're doing an alert on this too. All right, anything else in email? No, that's the heads-up brief for today, Paul. Anything from you? Just one quick question. Have you caught the cricket score Australia-India in the third test? No, I'm a bit scared of that. Okay, seven for 87, mate. You guys elected <laughs> to bat. The comeback of the Aussies. Okay, thanks for the brief. Cheers. All right, thanks, Paul.